Hey, it's Kim, and the Queen is back. I started this series because I love to dig deep into random obsessions that I have. And as a 20 plus year Britney fan, the second I found out that she was making new music, I knew it was going to be my new obsession. In case you weren't aware, Britney Spears has returned to music after years of silence, and she's chosen to do a collaboration with Elton John. Um, they've decided to do a reimagined version of his song Tiny Dancer, which is entitled Hold Me Closer. And if you're watching this video, the song should be out, which is very exciting. You can listen to it now on streaming services or buy it on iTunes. This song has so much going on behind the scenes, everything from the actual song itself to Elton's legacy, and now the return of Britney. Tiny Dancer was written by Elton John and Bernie Taupin. Like many, many, many of Elton's songs, Elton wrote the music and Bernie focused on the lyrics. Elton has been celebrated for years for his music, and it's well-deserved. But I do want to take a moment to recognize how much of Elton's catalog involves Bernie. The man is amazing and deserves credit for all of the work that he's done. And what you're seeing right now is just some of what he's written with Elton. He also has his own music and has worked with many other artists. Both Elton and Bernie were inducted into the Songwriters Hall of Fame in 1992, and it's not hard to see why. The song is said to be about Bernie's wife at the time, Maxine, who was a ballerina as a child and would sew patches on Elton's pockets and jeans, making her the seamstress for the band. However, Bernie clarified later that the song isn't just about Maxine, it's about the women in California that he met around that time. We came to California in the fall of 1970, and it seemed like sunshine just radiated from the populace. I guess I was trying to capture the spirit of that time, encapsulated by the women we met, especially at the clothes stores and restaurants and the bars all up and down the Sunset Strip. These were free spirits, sexy, all hip huggers and lacy blouses, very ethereal in the way they moved. Tiny Dancer was released in 1972 off of Elton John's album Mad Man Across the Water, and it really wasn't a huge hit at the very beginning. Its long runtime of 6 minutes and 12 seconds made it hard for radio stations to play. But just because the song didn't seem to chart well, it doesn't mean that it left the public consciousness. Over time, it was cemented as a classic of Elton's, and it got a boost in popularity from the 2000 film Almost Famous. Elton John has been a very busy man lately. He started his retirement tour in 2018, and due to the pandemic, some of his tour dates had to be rescheduled. Because Elton couldn't carry on with his tour as planned, he decided to take some time while in lockdown to make some music. Elton made a collaborative album called The Lockdown Sessions, where he worked with Miley Cyrus, Lil Nas X, Gorillaz, Dua Lipa, Stevie Wonder, and more. The album spawned the successful single Cold Heart, which was a reimagined version of Elton's classic Rocket Man featuring Dua Lipa. The song peaked at 7 on the Billboard Hot 100 and gave Elton another top 10 hit. He is now one of only 10 artists to reach the top 10 in four different decades and is now tied with Mariah Carey and Stevie Wonder for the sixth most top 10 hits in the Hot 100 history. So the idea of Elton working with another pop heavyweight to reimagine one of his other songs is not a crazy concept. In July, rumors started swirling that Britney had returned to the studio for the first time after the end of her conservatorship. And some of those rumors suggested that Britney might be working with Elton John. And coming off of the success of Cold Heart, it didn't take long for people to start speculating that Britney might be working on a new version of one of Elton's songs. Now, the mention of Elton John gave a few fans some deja vu, and they remembered a hashtag that was trending in 2015. The hashtag Elton Always was being posted around Twitter, where users shared their favorite Elton John song. There were many high-profile artists and even record labels who took part in this hashtag. But a certain pop princess, now queen of pop, had a special announcement she wanted to make. Britney's favorite song was Tiny Dancer. Looking at this now, it looks like Britney might have been manifesting a little bit. It's been reported that in July, Britney had met with Elton in Beverly Hills to record the song. Insiders say that Britney was very excited to work on the song and had even quit smoking to prepare. While I was researching this video, I couldn't help but notice the similarities between Bernie's explanation of the song and Britney Spears. A free spirit and hip huggers with lacy blouses and above all else, a tiny dancer. This song is such a special moment in Britney history. Britney's been through so much, and it's so good to hear that she is excited about doing something and that her heart is really in this. 
She is no stranger to sharing the stage with legends, and I have a sneaking suspicion that part of what she wants moving forward is to be respected for the artist she is. Britney has long expressed that she wants to do remixes of her own songs, so the idea of her working with someone who has already done this quite successfully, like Elton, with Cold Heart, is a genius move. Tiny Dancer is a song that is beloved, and between Britney and Elton, it has a lot of potential for being a crossover success. Britney has had multiple singles rocket up the Hot 100. She has five number ones, including her collaboration with Rihanna for the SM remix. Elton has nine number ones and 28 top 10 hits. I can see this song doing incredibly well. Separate from the anticipation of Britney's return, this song has two established superstars on it, and that carries massive appeal when it comes to radio. The sky is the limit with these two. It's going to be really interesting to see where this song goes and how it affects music history. But either way, this is a massive moment in Britney history, and I'm here for it. Well, that's it. Much love. Bye.